the first civilization to take Africans out of this continent were the Arabs. And they took Africans from the eastern coast. And it's sad that in that part of the world, there are not many Africans who remain because it was in the business of the Arab enslaver to castrate Africans. We never say that, but we must say it because it is historically significant. Then the Europeans came, the Portuguese came, the Spaniards came, the Germans came, the French came, the Belgians came. Africa became the hunting ground for the European colonizers. And we were the spot. We built, our ancestors built the United States of America. Our ancestors built Europe. And when slavery had lost its shine and sheen, the Europeans abolished it, but they replaced it with yet another pernicious enterprise, the colonization of Africa. The Europeans sat in Berlin, in Germany, in 1884, and they looked at the map of Africa and puzzled it out. The British had their share. The Germans had their share, and Tanzania, or Tanganyika, was their share, as was Rwanda and Urundi. The Spaniards were Johnny come lately in the arena, and they got little Equatorial Guinea and Southwest Africa. The French were here, the Portuguese were here, and we were colonized. This time round, they did not take us away. They came here and they controlled us. And they told us, not in so many words, that we were children of a lesser God. And we were treated as if we were children of a lesser God. In fact, they told us that on the day of creation, we were merely hewers of wood and drawers of water. And if anybody were to doubt it in 1948, it was more blatant when Hendrik Fafut instituted the apartheid regime in South Africa. But yet there is a sense in which the God that we worship never sleeps. The colonial enterprise ran its course and the European tribes, the Europeans never called themselves tribes, they called them nations, were engaged in a war. First in 1918, the European tribes fought and they had something called the League of Nations which died. Then they fought again in 1945 and what is unique about the European nations is that when they are engaged in tribal wars, they call them world wars. So there was another war between 1945, 1939 and 1945. And after that, a new kid on the block, the United States of America, took the lead in saying that colonialism was something that was undesired. But at that time, Africans were never quiet. Those who had been taken out had already started agitating. Many of us here will remember Marcus Garvey, of whom Bob Marley says, Garvey was a buffalo soldier in the heart of America. And This is why it is vital for people to understand their history. Now, I know some of the pushback I'm going to get from some black Americans is the fact that they're going to start talking about that we were already here mentality. Even if you take that mentality, I'm not going to argue that point today. 
you still have to recognize that what was done to Africa was also done to the indigenous people in America. This is why I find it so difficult to understand why people of today would still fall under the religion that their oppressors gave them. When I look at the continent of Africa and I see that the primary religions in Africa is Christianity and Islam, and yet you can understand by simply looking at the history that they stole and took the religion of your ancestors, minimized it, and made it into something that they now use the term pagan and said that your gods were not real gods, that your ancestors' gods were not the real gods of the creation of this universe, of this world, and then elevated themselves through their religion of Islam and Christianity to make themselves the oppressors over your ancestors. Why would you allow this? And when they came to America, whether it was the conquistadors, the Portuguese, or the Brits, and they conquered the indigenous people and then made them worship the God that supported them in their conquest of your ancestors. Why do you still accept their God as your God? It makes absolutely no sense unless you are still perpetuating the slave mentality of the conquered people who were forced into these religions through bloodshed, through the tip of a spear, through the barrel of a gun. I understand it's hard You've been conditioned by those who look just like you. You've been trained by your parents and your grandparents and the community that you live in to still worship this God and to renegotiate the history and the God by saying that those people were outside of the will of God. But yet when you look at the Abrahamic religions. What does this God do? This God tells the children of Israel that I will supplant the people in Canaan, that the people who were living in Jerusalem, that I will destroy them. I will kill them. I will give you their land because I made a promise to Abraham. And to this day, they are still stealing these people's land simply because of a belief in their so-called benevolent, loving God. They were told that they can make slaves of foreign nations and pass them down as property. They were told that they can tax and brutalize those who did not believe in Allah. And instead of fighting against it, our ancestors eventually gave in to it. They gave in to it because of their survival instincts. And dare I say that even today, some of you believe that your survival instinct is taking over and you, you believe that you still have to perpetuate these religions in order to survive in this world that we live in today. Instead of recognizing that the barbarians have merely just changed into smooth talkers. They have changed into economic oppressors and they still maintain the level of brutality over our people in order to maintain their power. But the true power that they have is convincing you to still follow and worship the God that they gave you through your ancestors, through br brutality. It's time to wake up and recognize that the teachings of the oppressor should not nor should have ever been the belief of the oppressed. It's time to free yourself so you can be yourself because your greatness is non-negotiable. Good journey, good vibrations.